So what do we got here? I have a signed Christian Pulisic jersey, plays for Chelsea FC team in the Premier League. This guy's like the phenom guy, right? He's like the LeBron James of soccer? Definitely, definitely. Definitely. The US is perhaps the sports and athletic capital of the world. However, it's no secret that they have historically failed to produce top world-renowned footballing talent that rivals several other footballing countries in the past. And it's probably not a stretch to say that that has had an effect on the general popularity of football there. Which brings us to the purpose of this video. The US has produced good players in the past, don't get me wrong. You don't know where I'm from, dog. But perhaps none have had as much hype surrounding them as Captain America. Christian Pulisic. Christian Pulisic. <clears throat> A player that, while still being a bit raw and by no means the finished product, is a lot better than many people give him credit for. A player at the forefront of what seems to be a golden generation for the US. And most significantly, because of his nationality, age, background and potential, he's quite possibly a player that's in one of the most unique positions from an influential perspective that we've seen in a footballer in recent years. And for that reason, I thought it would be really interesting to briefly take a look at two things in this video. Firstly, Christian Pulisic, the player. Is he really that good? Or is the hype machine doing a lot of legwork for him? And secondly, Christian Pulisic, the symbol. At a glance, in time, what can he eventually mean to America? And why is he in such a unique position? Join in because it'll be a goodie. And with that being said, among other questions, how good is Christian Pulisic really? Yo, what is going on guys? Really hope you're all doing well. We've got a bit of a different one coming up. But before we get into it, a quick word from one of the channel's favorite sponsors, Skillshare. You guys already know the deal, I wouldn't promote a product on this channel unless I actually used it, so I'm pretty chuffed to have Skillshare back. Skillshare is an online learning platform boasting a user base in the millions. In the digital age, it hasn't been easier to pick up a new skill and expand your skill set than it is now. I've been trying to improve my editing and animations over the past few months and Skillshare has been my go-to. Just take Daniel Scott's course on Adobe After Effects, for example. Here, he teaches the basics of bringing images and data to life in bite-sized pieces. And I've been trying to take a few notes. And the good news about all of this is that, for a limited time only, Skillshare is offering a one-month free trial to the first 1,000 people that sign up using the link in the description. So, why not go ahead and join Skillshare and learn something new today? Huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's jump right back in. Pulisic, which is unsurprisingly not a traditional American name, has its roots in Croatia, the birthplace of his grandfather. However, the man refers to himself as Pulisic, so we're going to stick to that. Hi, I'm Christian Pulisic. Born in 1998 in Hershey, Pennsylvania, everything seemed to fall in place extremely fast for him. With a mother who played high-level football in college and a father who played at a professional level in the 90s, his taking to the sport was all but inevitable. His family moved around a bit in his younger years and he even found himself in the UK living in Oxfordshire for a year. In and amongst all of this, we somehow got this picture taken in 2010 when Pulisic was about 11 years old on trial at Chelsea. That's Mason Mount, by the way. Did I hear someone say destiny? Anyway, before long, Borussia Dortmund came knocking in, enlisting him in the youth academy at 16. And as we all know, Borussia Dortmund as an organization typically has an insane eye for young talent. So it should come as no surprise that Christian Pulisic did not disappoint. Not only is the man a fast, agile and quick-footed attacker, but the guy can dunk at just 5'8". That is actually just really impressive. He started out with the under-17s, then shortly after that was fast-tracked to the under-19s, then shortly after that, first-team coach Thomas Tuchel reportedly said, Christian, my boy, it is time. Okay, I made that quote up, but in my mind, that's what he said, and it's kind of the same thing as him actually saying it, right? A first-team player at just 17 years old, the age of record-breaker Pulisic, was upon us. Here's a quick breakdown showing just how much of a wonder kid the guy was not too long ago. Youngest non-German to score in the Bundesliga. Youngest player to represent Dortmund in European competition. Youngest American to score in the Champions League. And the youngest Champions League goalscorer for Dortmund. More notable performances and a DFB Pokal winner's medal came his way not too long after that. But the record-breaking didn't end there. Onto the US national team, and he became the youngest to start a World Cup qualifier for America, youngest American to score in the qualifiers, and later, the youngest to captain the national team, and only 20. Knowing all of that, it's easy to understand where all the hype was coming from. 
All signs pointed towards one thing, and one thing only, generational talent. So hardly anyone was shocked when Chelsea showed their interest in the then 21-year-old in 2019. However, what was shocking was the price tag, 58 million pounds. As we've seen thus far in this video, he was a good player, but damn, almost 60 mil? Oh, also this broke the record for the most paid for an American, of course. Just a reminder that this was in a post-Neymar, Dembele, Coutinho transfer world, so prices for top talent had been blown up to insane proportions by the time that Pulisic was on the move. However, it's not like any of that mattered because this was essentially an open invitation for the doubters. I mean, yes, Chelsea weren't just buying the player, they were also buying access to a whole new market. But all the same, taking things back to the player aspect, was he really worth that much? And to further put this doubt into context, he was coming into the squad hot off the heels of Eden Hazard, who, unfortunately for Pulisic, had his best season in a Chelsea shirt before going off to Madrid. Now, Pulisic obviously wasn't there to replace Hazard. I mean, you don't replace Eden Hazard, or at least not the Eden Hazard that he was back then. But that didn't matter to a lot of people because the comparisons came pouring in. Which were obviously a bit unfair, the guy was only 20. In any case, fast forward to the present day, three years into his Premier League career and I rate he's been pretty good. 22 goals and 18 assists in 103 appearances in the auxiliary role he plays in, a Champions League and a Club World Cup is a… Uh, <laughs> uh, it's pretty decent, you know, <laughs> to say the least. His off the ball movement and darting runs are often fantastic, his dribbling can be a lot to deal with and his first touch often sets him up very well. Having said that, if we're being completely honest, he's still very inconsistent and tends to rack up a fair amount of injuries. And because of that, I feel he has yet to truly follow through with the potential that he showed in his younger years. But again, he's only 23 and still has time, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that only covers half of what this video is about. Let's move over to Pulisic, the symbol. So this is just a quick trigger warning for anyone that I'm about to harm, but I'm about to interchange between soccer and football quite a bit, so buckle up. According to a survey conducted in late 2021 by Statista, soccer is the fourth most popular televised sport in the United States, and it still has some ways to go. But this chart isn't all that discouraging, as not too long ago, the NHL held that spot. And behind these numbers lies an ever-increasing fan base for the sport. According to a study conducted by Nielsen Scarborough Research, between 2012 and 2018, soccer saw a 27% increase in interest in the sport from individuals aged 18 and above. The US women's national team absolutely demolished the competition in the 2019 World Cup and drew more eyes from the US than the 2018 men's final did. And on to our last piece of research, according to Gallup, as recently as 2018, soccer, tied with basketball, was the second most preferred sport to watch amongst individuals aged 18 to 34. Now, all of that information does come with a bit of an asterisk, and I don't want to mislead anyone. Coming from a bit of an academic background myself, I must admit that when you look closer, these are all studies conducted with a very small sample space, roughly 1 to 2,000 people per study, hardly representative of 330 plus million people, of course. But the general point I'm trying to get at here is that the popularity of the sport is clearly rising, something that is backed by several studies outside of what I've presented. The talent is there, and the youth seems to be into it. That all points to a bright future. Christian Pulisic is the star of American soccer. It's been that way for quite some time now. He has sponsorships coming at him from every direction. Anyone associated with US soccer is likely to automatically support him, and with the way the sport is progressing, his reach could skyrocket in the years to come. He's already captained the US national team to a major piece of silverware in the CONCACAF Nations League. And further to that, America is forming a bit of a golden generation with players like Weston McKinney, Timothy Weyer, Serginio Dest, and of course, Pulisic himself. As a whole, the current roster is young, but given time and experience, they could surprise very many people on the international stage. Maybe not with tons and tons of silverware right away, but certainly with standout performances. And if they do, which seems to be increasing in likelihood as time goes by, Pulisic will probably be at the center of all of it. The man born in the US, with Croatian ancestry, who received a footballing education in Germany and now plies his trade in England. Not a bad plot for a movie, if you ask me. Hey yo, nobody steal my idea, I, I thought of it first. <clears throat> 
And there we have it. I know I've usually only done player profiles of retired or much older players in the past, but this one was a fun deviation from the norm that I thought I'd give a shot. A brief look into a younger player and what the future potentially holds. If you'd be so kind, head over to the comments and let me know how you feel about Pulisic, the state of football in the US, this video, anything really. And with that being said, that is all from me today. Really hope you all enjoyed. Actually, that is not all from me today. Uh, something insane happened while I was recording this one. For whatever reason, a hundred thousand of you decided to click that red button. Why have you done that? I honestly can't believe it. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Um, unfortunately, I already had this video lined up, so couldn't pull anything together. But I've got a special one coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned. And with that being said, cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.